Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am so excited because today we're doing the Ipsy versus Ipsy. Um, for some reason our Ipsy came super late. This time like our regular glam bags came late and I'm not sure why, um, but we got them a couple days ago and we just haven't had time to film. So sorry that they're a little late this month. We're gonna do our best to get them out as early as we possibly can for you guys. But you've already seen us unbox the Ipsy Glam Bag Pluses and Boxy Charm for this month. So without any further ado, we're gonna jump right in. This one right here is my mother's and this one right here is my own. I have done no sneak peeking at either one of them, so I have no idea what to expect. My mom was actually out of town last week, so she hasn't even opened hers yet. So we're just gonna jump in and see what goodness awaits us. Really quickly, I did get an email from them today talking about what's coming up with like Black Friday deals. So I know the 25th of November, they are doing some sort of like bundle kit reveal. They've got 25 bundles that they're releasing that day. And then I think they're doing like their top 25 favorite products of the year. Um, so they're doing that sale before like the Christmas season and the buying season really begins. Um, they're doing a mystery bag on Black Friday, which we are going to try very hard to, to get our hands on because I would really like to do unboxing of that because I don't know what to expect for it. I don't know how much it costs. I don't know anything about it, but um, I'm very intrigued. And uh, when I'm intrigued, I normally uh, will throw my credit card down. So, And then they are doing a, a Cyber Monday sale on December 2nd as well. So there's a lot of things coming up for Ipsy. This one is my mother's. I don't know if I said that as I was opening it, but this is my mom's. You guys know I like to start off with my mother's. So the first thing that I notice is she did get a brush. We all know how she feels about brushes. I'm sure she's thrilled about that. Uh, but it's a nice big size brush. Uh, it's looking like, uh, I'm not gonna take it out or mess with it or anything because it is hers, but it's kind of nicely sealed to keep all of the bristles in line, which I appreciate, especially in terms of like receiving a new brush. I think that really helps make sure that it is as quality as it possibly can be in the mail. Um, but it's a bigger brush, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be one of either like a powder foundation application, bronzing or contour brush potentially, or like a blush brush. So, um, so that's the brush that she got. It's a really nice like thick handle. It is this Gigi Gorgeous that was like their featured brand this month. Both my mother and myself received the uh, bronzing little duo, the one that looked like it had a thumbprint in it you can't see on camera, but like you can definitely see in person. We both got that in our pluses. So that is one of her items. I'm gonna pull out her little card. It's Wild Side. I think I mentioned that in the other Ipsy unboxing, but that is the theme for this month. And the first thing I will notice is that she got a confidence in a cream mini sample. I personally really love confidence in a cream. I really like it when I get these sample sizes because they are perfect for traveling. It's a nice moisturizing, like night cream, day cream, kind of whatever. Uh, it Cosmetics is really good about like, especially with discoloration and rosacea and acne, addressing all those issues and helping um, to fix them and mask them and do everything they can to keep your skin as healthy and beautiful as you possibly can make it. So I really, really like this product. It is not like by any means a new feature. I think we've gotten it in Ipsy's before. I've gotten it in tons of like Ulta gifts and stuff before, but it is still a nice thing to have. I personally feel like you can never have too much of it. So I think she's gonna really like that too because she's also a big It Cosmetics fan. So that is a good one right there. We've got two little minis. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start off with this one. This one is a mini Pixie by Petra. It looks like an eyeshadow duo. It is Memor Memorizing Mineral Duo in Naturally Nude. It is very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's gonna reflect too much because of the packaging, but it has a very nice dark and light shimmer shade. They are both kind of like accented with these gold flecks is what I would call them. Um, and the lighter shade is kind of a champagne color. The darker shade is kind of like a deep bronze color. So it really fits with that theme of Wild Side. I think they're very natural, very um, not animalistic colors, but like very much like a, oh, dialistic eye teeth. Yay. This is the, the Dose Cosmetics lipstick I got in my boxy charm, and it just like, I wiped off my teeth before we started filming, and then it just went back onto my teeth. So anyway, sorry about that. But yeah, so it's it's a really nice, like, um, I think theme oriented accent to this particular bag. So personally, I think that's a good one. Uh, I don't think that there's ever a time where I get an eyeshadow shade where I'm not like, oh, yay, because I like eyeshadow so much. So, all right. So this one is from Wander Beauty. I really like Wander Beauty. I've uh, gotten a couple of things from them, mainly skincare items. I've never really seen like a Wander Beauty makeup product in any of my boxes, not that I can recall at least. So this looks like it's a highlighter. It's 
this whole thing has just been sealed so incredibly complicatedly. All right, I think I finally got in. It is, it is a very pretty, nice, decent sized highlighter. Um, it's a very basic highlighter in my opinion. It's not anything crazy like out there. It's just a nice, very soft, almost white brown highlighter, which is not a bad thing to have as it's a staple item. Um, personally, if I received it, I would probably be like, oh cool, I like highlighters, but it's just not, I'm pretty sure I have like 10 or more of these similar shade of this and like a similar shade not this brand but like highlighters that would basically be dupes for it so i don't think it would be like earth shattering for me to receive it but i think it's a nice accent to the bag and then our last thing is from nomad which i've also i received a couple products from nomad in my ipsies before as well it looks like a bronzer but i'm not entirely sure it's a decent size nicely packaged and it is it's a really pretty bronzer I actually really, really like this one a whole lot. Overall, and this is gonna be like really weird. This is a weird thing for me to say. Overall, I should really love this bag because it's a lot of stuff that I enjoy getting, but it's just kind of meh in my opinion. I don't know why. Like, I think that the my favorite thing that came in this is probably the bronzer. Um, the eyeshadows are pretty. The highlighter is pretty. I like confidence in a cream. The brush is fine. I just feel like it's not earth shattering and I don't, like maybe every bag shouldn't be earth shattering but I just feel like I didn't really, like it's not my bag, it's my mom's bag. But I feel like she didn't really get anything where I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't have anything like this before and I'm really excited to try this out. So that's kind of how I'm feeling going into my bag. I'm kind of hoping my bag is a little bit better. Um, but like I said, I have no idea what to expect. So it could be like, it could be worse. It could be the same, who knows? Like we'll just have to see. Okay, so saw my mom's bag. We're gonna jump right on into my bag without any further ado. Uh, I do not have a brush. I can tell you that because her brush is on the outside, so I don't have a brush in this one. Once again, don't know why they always send her brushes, and I've literally gotten like two two brushes in the past year. One was a brush set in the plus, and then I got one brush by itself that I can recall in the past year. So I don't know why I don't. She's I don't even think she says she likes brushes on her things. So. <laughs> I'm just now conjuring back. I remember that we are we were allowed to pick an item in this bag as well, and I didn't realize that last month, but this month we did choose it, and I can't remember for the life of me what my mother chose. Of all those things, I don't know. It might have been that Nomad bronzer, or it was that, or the Pixie eyeshadow. I can't remember. But I know, pulling out the first thing, I chose this Lock Color Good Foundation. It's a BB it's a BB cream and foundation. I felt like this was a pretty good match for my skin tone. And I am a big fan of getting foundation samples because foundation is one of the things that like, I will spend money on it, but I, I would prefer to, to stay in a cheaper range and I don't know why that is. So if I'm like testing out different uh, sample sizes of foundations and I feel like I really, really like it, that will encourage me to go spend money on it rather than like just continuing to buy my NYX stuff, which works really great, but like at the same time, Sometimes I have to work a little bit harder with it than I would like to with the foundation. So I don't know. It's a weird thing, but I really like getting sample sizes and foundations, especially since it is very hard to color match in a sample size. So I'm excited about this. It looks like it's going to match pretty well, and I'm really excited to test that out. So that I did choose that one, though. So that was not, like, random. That was just, like, something that I chose. The next thing I got is a little MAC cleanse-off oil, which I'm excited about. I don't know if I've ever seen anything from MAC in here before. It's very possible that they have sent stuff out. I just don't think I've received anything from MAC. So I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, once again, this is like perfect for going on vacation. That cleansing oil, you probably only need a couple drops of it to be able to get off a good amount of your makeup. So that is going to be a nice little asset, especially like when we're at Disney for an extended period of time next year. Um, so I'm actually really, really excited about both of those things to start off with. And then, okay, so I also got the little Pixie by Petra eyeshadow duo, same exact colors. Like I said, they're really pretty colors, very neutral, very workable. Um, do I think you can make a whole eye look out of it? If you want something very basic, absolutely. Um, if you want something a little bit more intricate, I would not recommend it. But um, still a really nice little accent to have up in your life. Now, I got two more things. Both of them are big. This one is from Dome Beauty. I don't know if I know Dome Beauty. So, uh, but I believe the blush just, it says cheek envy. So anything with cheek normally is blush. It is. And once again, very basic. Um, it's not a bad thing. I, I'm feeling like I'm really negative right now and I'm not trying to be negative. Just very basic. All the colors and stuff are just very like subdued. And I guess 
maybe it's me personally, but with wild side, I want like a vibrant color or something. Like it doesn't have to be earth shattering, but just something that's a little bit more than just like monochromatic peach color. I don't know. Um, pretty, pretty blush. I'm not going to complain too much about it because like I've gotten some really terrible bags before where it's just like, oh, look, it's like I got four face washes and a eyeshadow brush. What am I going to do with this? So I, I hate to be like negative. It's really not that bad, but it just is not, um, not as exciting as I would like it to be. Maybe is that's what I'm trying to say. I can't open this one. This is from Gigi Gorgeous. Like I said, that was their featured brand this month. They did give you the option to get like a I got an email the other day that said you could like buy a Gigi Gorgeous bag. The bag itself was cute. I didn't know what was coming in it. I didn't do it because I'm like preparing to spend a lot of money on Black Friday. So I was just like, I just need to be good right now. It's a turnt touch up powder. So I'm thinking this is basically like just a neutral, like a setting powder. Or when you start getting oily throughout the day, you go just give yourself like a nice little veil of it. Or if you start seeing patchy areas in your foundation, it should be a nice thing to like do touch ups, which honestly, that's one of my favorite things I've got in here because I don't have a lot of really good touch up powders in my collection. So to have this as part of the bag in a very nice size, I would say as well, it's like a decent sized sample. Um, that is actually something that I'm excited about. And I know that's kind of ironic because it's literally like no color at all. It's, it's like literally nothing other than like it's there to absorb, absorb oil. But that being said, because I don't have a lot of it, that's something that I'm kind of like, okay, cool. I can actually use this. I think if I have to choose my bag all assembled together, I'm going to choose my bag. I liked, I liked everything I got in my bag. The stuff my mom got was not terrible either. It just wasn't great. It sounds terrible. But anyway, I've said that, I've reiterated that a bunch. So moving past that, if I had to assemble my per perfect bag, I think I would choose four of my own products. Technically it would be three and then we both had one crossover product. So that would be two in her bag as well. But if we wanna call it fair fair, we'll do four of my products and two of her products, even though that makes six, but one of them's the same, so whatever. But I would choose the foundation, the MAC remover, the Pixie by Petra eyeshadow quad, the Gigi Gorgeous touch-up powder, and I would actually choose her Nomad bronzer over my blush just because I like the bronzing shade and I like Nomad. Um, I think the last time I got something from them was a highlighter and I really like that a lot. So I would choose that bronzer over my blush. But other than that, I would pretty much choose my bag because I think my bag was just a touch better this month. So once again, sorry, it was super late. Um, I don't know if you guys felt the same way I did about the bag being just kind of boring, maybe is the right way to say it. Like good stuff, good brands, stuff I'm gonna use, but just not like exciting, which maybe I want in a subscription box to be a little bit excited. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it was maybe a little bit too boring for me this month. So let me know if you guys feel the same way, if you got it, if you agree with my assessment, if you think I'm just being overcritical. And that's very possible. I feel like with the more subscriptions I get, the harder I'm going to be on the products that I'm receiving because like my standards are gonna go up maybe. I don't know. I'm really excited. I've got a lot of really crazy stuff planned for the Christmas time season. I wanna get past Thanksgiving first, obviously, cause I think that we a lot of times overlook the idea of like being thankful and we go straight into like, let's buy stuff for Christmas. So I'm really trying hard not to do that, but I've got a lot of really cool ideas worked out for Christmas. So we're really excited to start sharing that stuff with you as well. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and pick up one of those mystery bags so you can see us unbox that. I'm sure I'll be done doing a ton of buying during the Ulta, um, Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale and everything leading up to it. So get ready for a lot of crazy content. Not crazy like it's going to be different from what you've seen before, but like just, you know, more content. So, uh, if you have not joined our Dark Angel family, please hit the subscribe button. We'd really like for you to join us on our crazy journey. And I love each and every one of you who does subscribe and who continues to view our videos so uh yeah if you want to be part of like an awesome little uh little youtube community please hit that subscribe button and uh please hit the like button on this video as well it definitely helps our channel out a whole bunch and as always i hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist